Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve one simple uh, trig equation and we want the answers x is in radians. So the question is solve x is between 0 and 2 pi. 2 pi is 360. So what I am going to do is I am going to work out in degrees and then I will ultimately change the answers into radians. So when you are solving trig equation, you treat a trig equation like simple algebraic equation. So I want to get rid of this 2. So if you divide this side by 2, you have to divide this side by 2. So now I can write sine of x or sine x is negative 0 0.5. Okay. So first thing that you need to find is your reference angle or the principal angle. Okay. So that's shown by you ignore the negative sign, okay, you are finding only in the first quadrant. So, so this is the reference angle or principal angle is sine inverse of 0 0.5, okay, don't, I'll explain why I'm taking this. So, x is the reference angle, I need to get a calculator out, this is a calculator, and my calculator works by default on in radians. So I'll have to change my setting. It's always a good habit to go and check what your calculator is set. The calculator is now set in radians. I want to go, I'm working in degrees. So this is changing to degrees now. So you go shift sign bracket 0 0.5. So this is 30 degree. So your reference angle is 30 degree. What does that mean? So this is the unit circle, and uh, I hope uh, in the last video I talked about C A S T. So you're starting from here. So this is the first quadrant. So A stands for all. This is sine, tan, cos. So sine is positive in the first and the second quadrant. Okay. So that means sine is negative in the third. So this is your first quadrant. This is your first quadrant. This is your second quadrant. So this is your third quadrant and this is your fourth quadrant. So this is a zero degree and this is your starting point. This is a one zero and this is a zero one. So imagine a point moving 90 degrees. So that is called the first quadrant. So from 90 to 180, this is a negative one zero and this is zero negative one. So imagine a point which is rotating anti-clockwise, like this. I have talked this in other videos, but there's nothing wrong in repeating. Okay, so this is anti-clockwise. So that's the convention. So if a particle comes at this point, you say it has moved 90 degrees, and that's the first quadrant. From 90 to 180, it is second quadrant, and so on. Okay, <clears throat> so the reference angle is 30. So what does that mean? So you can say sine 30. So this is not drawn to scale, so this is 30 degree, this is 30 degree in the first quadrant. And so by convention, when you're referring angle, it's always anti-clockwise. So this is 30 degree, that's your reference angle. But we know sine is negative, we are talking about this negative angle. Now sine is negative in the third and the fourth quadrant. So I'll draw 30 degree in the fourth quadrant, sorry, this is the third quadrant and 30 degree in the fourth quadrant. So 30 degree in the fourth quadrant, so this is 30 degree. Let me delete this now. Okay, so 30 degree in the third quadrant, this is 30 degree in the third quadrant, but we, we are talking about this angle. Okay, I hope you understand. Yeah. So this angle is 180 plus 30. So because 30 degree in the third quadrant, whenever whenever you are you're, uh, giving the answer for x, it is always with respect to this axis. Okay, it's always with respect to this axis. With respect to this ac axis, it has moved how many degrees? So it is 180 plus 30, which is, I'll show this on a calculator, 180 plus 30 is 210 degrees. Okay, but if you do on a calculator, if you don't understand what you don't really learn. Now, 30 degree here, 
this is 30 degree in the fourth quadrant and that is how much from the starting point. So 30 degree like this in the fourth quadrant is same as 360, 360 minus 30, okay, uh, which is, so in the fourth quadrant, if you can remember this formula, in the, in the fourth quadrant, in the third quadrant will be 180 plus the reference angle, and in the fourth quadrant will be 360 minus the reference angle, which is 330 degree. So you can say sine sin x is negative 0 0.5 when x, x is 210 degrees or x is 330 degrees. So we'll change this. Okay, let me change this into radians now. Now, pi radians or pi, this is a good formula to remember, pi, dig, pi radian is 180 degree. So if you want to change from degrees to radian, so this is 210 pi over 180. That's a simple way to convert. So this you can, so this goes, this is, so which number goes in 221 and 18? So three goes, so three goes in 21, seven times, three goes in 18, six times. So this is seven pi by six. That's the answer in radians. And this would be the same thing, so 330 pi, I hope you understand, uh, from this can you understand 1 degree is pi by 180 radians, okay, 180 degree is pi radians, so 1 degree is 1 80th of this, so that's why I'm dividing by 180. So again, 3 goes in both of this. This is 11 pi by 6. That's your answer. Okay, so we'll check this on a calculator. So this is set in radians. Go to graph and type in sine x. And then you need to change the scale to your trig scale from 0 to 360. Okay, and uh, that's fine. Okay, my question is, when is sine fx negative 0 0.5 so you go g solve and then you go x calc so i'll put negative 0 0.5 here just like that so the first is 210 degrees you can see that so this is in the third see this is in the this is the first quadrant this is see sign is positive in the first and the second quadrant and negative in the third and fourth quadrant so this is this is 180 plus 30 okay and this is 360 minus 30. So if you scroll, that is 330 degree. Okay, so let me do one more question. Okay, so we have answered the, this is in uh, radians. So it's always good to change this into degrees first, though the question is in radians. So I can say now cos of x or cos x is 2.25 minus 1.8 okay so let me use a calculator so menu 2.25 take away 1.8 which is 45 0 0.45 not 45 0 0.45 okay so let me draw the unit circle uh, let me draw very fast so this is a unit circle this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis. So I'll write cast, c-a-s-t. That's a good way to remember cast, okay? Or some people say all science, science teachers are cool, okay? And I also made up an acronym myself, which is, says all sinners to church, okay? Whichever way you remember, cast is a good formula, c-a-s-t. But the only thing you have to start from the fourth quadrant. So I can say cos is positive in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So I can say x is cos inverse of 0 0.45. So I need a calculator. So shift cos 0 0.45, close the bracket. I'll round this to the whole number. So this is 63 degrees. So this is 63 degrees. So 63 degrees, so the sign is positive in the first. So this is this is called the reference angle. I should show 
this is the reference angle. So, to understand it, so this is 63 degree not drawn to scale in the first quadrant and 63 degree in the fourth quadrant. So, this is 63 degrees in the first, first quadrant and this is 63 degrees in the fourth quadrant. So, 63 degrees in the fourth quadrant is nothing but one answer is 63 because it's in the first quadrant and the second answer would be 360 minus 63 okay let me get a calculator so 360 minus 63 is 297 so this is 297 degrees so again always go to check your answer go to graph and graph cos x okay and the value is 0 0.45 draw it so this is a cos graph so 0. the number is 0 0.45 g sol i want to find the x value so my y value is 0 0.45 so the first is 63 in the first quadrant and the next is in the fourth quadrant so this when i press this this will jump here that is 360 minus 63 which is 297 when you round it up Okay, hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next